Hey Canucks fans, welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Monday, December the 4th. Hope you had a really good weekend. Man, Saturday night was really good. The Canucks defeated the Toronto Maple Leafs 2-1, sent all those Leaf fans home. What an amazing night. What a crazy, crazy night. What a great game, considering that they just came off their, their big win against Nashville just two days earlier. Wow, so many things to talk about. The Leafs fans, uh, yes, I gave them a hard time and I was happy that they lost. But they certainly added to the atmosphere of the arena. This Actually, I didn't go to this game. My buddy Mike, uh, my season ticket holder buddy Mike, he's the one who had these tickets, uh, which was fine. I watched the whole game at home on TV and I was riveted. Usually I'll, I'll get up to wash and break or go to the, the, the kitchen or whatever it may be. But I sat in my seat for almost that entire two and a half hours. It was riveting. It was amazing. It started off so well with the tribute to Daniel Sedin. And the Leafs fans are crazy. They were saying, go Leafs, go, right before the anthem, right before the tribute. And I'm really glad that they at least had the wherewithal to, to calm that down for a, a few minutes during those two times. It took a bit of prodding. But the Daniel Sedin tribute for the 1,000 points was wonderful. It With the Marcus Naslin video tribute, his voiceover, with Derek... Derek Dorsett coming on the ice, apparently unbeknownst to everyone, is a complete surprise. And what an emotional moment, uh, just within a week after Derek Dorsett retiring from his career. So you had Marcus Naslin, a fan favorite from the past. Derek Dorsett, a fan favorite from the present. And it, obviously the Canucks were on an emotional high. They started that game and they blistered the Leafs 17-11 to 11 in shots in the first period. And then they basically held on for the last 40 minutes as Toronto's superior speed and skill started to show its way. Um, and it was it was wonderful that the Canucks were able to hold on for that victory. So three reasons why, and I'm going to try something for the, uh, some of these videos, especially the videos right after a Canucks game. I'm going to help summarize my thoughts by giving three reasons why they won the game, or three reasons why they lost the game. So here are three reasons why the Canucks won. Number one, Jacob Markstrom. He made 35 saves on the 36 shots he faced. And he made a few saves that he probably had no business making, especially in the second and third periods. He, he, he robbed Austin Matthews a couple of times, Nazem Kadri, many, many, Morgan Riley, many players throughout the day, uh, throughout the game. So he was, yes, I, I know some people are making a big deal, but he still hasn't got a shutout. He's only three minutes away, 254 to be exact. But who cares? The Canucks won. I don't think Markstrom cares. Maybe deep down he cares a little bit. But the main thing is he held the Canucks in the game. He held the he held off the, the strong, high-scoring Maple Leafs, and he was full deserving of the first star that night. Again, 35 saves. Jacob Marstrom looked absolutely solid in net. Reason number two, the Canucks won. They blocked a lot of shots. They blocked 19 shots. And I tweeted during the game that a lot of the, not only did Marstrom play well, but a lot of the reason why the, the Leafs couldn't score is the Canucks were getting sticks in the lane. They were getting their bodies in the lane. They are getting their skates in the lane. And they had 19 blocked shots, which is a huge number. In fact, 15 of those blocked shots came from defensemen. Derek Pouliot had five alone. And I think Chris Tanev had, had four, and or maybe Edler had four. I, have, I can't remember. I looked it up this morning. But I knew I do know that there were 15 block shots, uh, 19 block shots, excuse me, 15 from the defensemen. And of course, that just because you block a shot doesn't mean it was going to go in, but you use a typical save percentage of, of 900 or above. 19 block shots, that means on average about two of those shots would have gone in the net if you, if you use that thinking, that math. So... You could say that the block shots helped the Canucks win that game. And number three, kind of similar, Alex Edler. He's another reason why the Canucks won. He had a monster of a game. He's slowly putting together a very solid season after a few years of being maligned by this market. He, I think he was. Um, he had one point. He had the goal, obviously, the game-winning goal oh, on the 6-on-5, the delayed penalty. He also had... Um, uh, many blocked shots. He he did one of his goalie leg saves as he as he, he blocked a shot with his with his uh, with his skate. He had, a, had other poke checks. He played strong. He doesn't. He's not going to pound anyone. He's not going to put anyone through the boards anymore. But he still can play very solid. He, he's got to be one of our top two D men along with Chris Tanev. And when they're paired together, they obviously play very well. So it's nice to see Edler do well. And yeah, he had a lot of. He, you could see he was playing with a lot of confidence, both in his back end, uh, the, the defensive zone, and of course in the offensive zone as he made that nice deke and then and put that shot in uh, to to seal the victory or at least to put the Canucks up two nothing at the time. So three reasons why the Canucks won: Jacob Markstrom, the block shots, and Alex Edler. Canucks fans, what did you think of the game? Were you happy that the, the Canucks put on such, such a strong performance? Were you getting annoyed by the Leafs fans? Or does, is it part and parcel with, with a team like that coming to town? We'd love to read your thoughts. Canucks are getting ready to start off, uh, to 
continue their homestand, excuse me. They're playing against the Carolina Hurricanes tomorrow night on Tuesday night. I'll be going to that game, so I look forward to, to both not only previewing it tomorrow, but recapping on Wednesday. And otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. God bless, and go Canucks go.